All right, now for the big one. Um, this is called the Helix Knot. Uh, you can do it with two colors or three colors. This is the one that I get the most questions about. Um, it is one of the more difficult knots that, that you could do, uh, but it looks awesome. It's my favorite knot. Um, I don't really know why you'd want any other knot <laughs> after you see this. Uh, it is just hands down my favorite one. So what you'll need to do, um, I started with a couple of Solomon bars here. You then need to take your colors. You need two of each, one on either side. You can also do this one uh, with three colors. Um, it's pretty much the same concept, but with this belt I only have two. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a color and it has to go, the, the order that you're about to go in has to be repeated all the way down or it doesn't work. Okay, so we're going to start with yellow. So what I'm going to do, pull this out here, is I'm going to make half of a Solomon bar. Okay, so just put this one over. Pull it up. Pull it tight. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my red ones and make sure that they go under both of the yellow ones. That is very important. <laughs> the The second color has to go under the first color every time or this knot won't work. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a half Solomon bar on the same side that I had just did it. So for me on this one it's going to be on the right side. So they will all be on the right side. Okay. So now I'm going to take my first color, my yellow, and first off I'm going to tighten it and I'm going to make sure that these go over the red. Okay, very important. Make sure your first color always goes over. Gonna do the same thing. Gonna do a Solomon bar, or half of a Solomon bar, on the same side I've been doing it the whole time. Okay, gonna tighten it up. Put those off to the side. Grab my second color. Make sure that it's tight. Go underneath the first color. Half of a Solomon's bar. Tight. Grab my first colors, make sure it's tight. Bring them over the top of the second color. Half a Solomon bar. Pull it tight. So now I'm just gonna not talk for a second and go through and do a bunch of these real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like at the end. I guess I can talk about if you're doing a third color in here, um, you have to have the first color has to go over the other two, the middle color has to go under, and the third color has to go under as well. So you need only one color has to go over, um, and then all of the other ones have to go under. Make sure you're doing it in the same order every time, and um, if you don't, it messes it up and it looks bad. This knot is a little time consuming. I mean, you can see I've only got an inch of it done in the time of the video so far. You can make these a three inch knot or an eight inch knot. I've had, I made a knot for somebody out in Talgador and they wanted a really long knot, a really long helix knot. And it was like eight inches or 12 inches or something. So you can really make these as long or as short as you want. You want to make sure you go back through and tighten it every time. If you don't, your spirals, which I'll get to in a second, the, the side parts here, if you don't tighten them every time, there will be a gap in those. I don't think I have a gap in these. But if, so say you just did this and you weren't keeping it as tight as you could, it will, um, there will be a space in between those two spirals and it will not look how you want it to 
at the end. Okay. So you keep going and you keep going until you get it however long you want it to be. Okay. And you can see it makes a spiral. And why we call it the helix is if you spin it, it kind of looks like DNA. Um, what one looks like on a finished product, let me straighten it out. If I can get you to see that. So this is a triple. Um, these are, you can see the, the green, the silver, and the blue. Um, if you're going to make this knot, leave yourself plenty of extra room, right? If your normal belts take, I don't know, 21 yards, um, give yourself 23 yards before you do this because this knot takes up a lot of cord. Um, you have to plan for that. Um, so there is the end result of the double and triple helix knot.